Hey there, good afternoon. Welcome to Wildly Domestic. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, binaural beats. Um, I know this isn't like, you know, some sort of DJ thing or music thing, uh, but it is related to sound healing. Um, what it is, is that you have two uh, distinct tones going into your ears. It works best with headphones. I mean, hypothetically, you could use it with speakers too, but you really want to just hear the two tones so you're not having anything else throw it off. Because how it's, how it's uh, created is you have one tone going into this ear, and then you have a different tone going into this ear. And the difference between those two uh, will create sort of a oscillating or a pulsating effect. So, and, um, so say you have uh, 315 hertz going into this ear and then 320 hertz going into this ear. And so the difference between the two is, is 5 hertz. So that's the, the, uh, the oscillation that, you're, that you hear is going to be at a frequency of 5 hertz. So basically what binaurals do is um, they, uh, they help with uh, brainwave entrainment. So what that is is that's um, uh, accessing different frequencies of, of brain waves and learning to work with them or learning or helping to heal different parts of your body. Uh, it also works with different organ systems because as, uh, you know, as our bodies give off electromagnetic frequencies and those have, you know, as, it, as it's a frequency, even though it might not be a sound frequency, it's still a frequency. So uh, different organs and different organ systems will give off different, different frequencies. Like for example, like your heart. Obviously the way that, that beats that that's giving off its own frequency, so there are certain um, there are certain uh, binaural beats that can be created to be in sync with uh, with a cardiovascular thing or or a digestive system or something along those lines. Um, you can also use them with chakra work because um, you know your chakras do have different energy frequencies that they resonate at as well. Uh, the two tones generally are within 30 hertz of each other because that's where most of um, most of the uh, different most of the different brain waves work, and also that's where you're going to hear the uh, the pulsating the most effectively. Um, generally, you can't hear anything under a thousand hertz, uh, so. Uh, anything that that's played is probably going to if you could hear it it's going to be under a thousand hertz so like the higher the higher pitch to sound is the higher the number of hertz it will have um, now with a brainwave entrainment there are five main brain waves that um, that people work with generally uh, you've got your uh, delta brain wave your theta brain wave your alpha brain wave beta and then gamma a uh, delta brain wave is between 0 and 4 hertz. So um, that's associated with deep REM sleep, uh, lucid dreaming, subconscious things. Um, it's most active in infants up to 5 years old. Uh, in fact, young children uh, often have, even though it's associated with uh, sleep and dreaming, young children often have uh, delta uh, waves activated when they're sleeping, which is, which is or excuse me, when they're awake which is rare for the older you get. Um, it's, not, it's not common to have that as, as you grow into an adult. Um, brain, uh, delta brain waves are also associated with the formation of memory. So that might be why young children seem to have uh, more delta waves uh, when they're awake because you know, since they're learning so much, they're forming new memories as they go. Uh, the next brain wave frequency is theta. That's uh, between four and seven hertz. Uh, there's not a whole lot that's known about this one, but it is associated with um, drowsiness or a light sleep or meditation or um, an extremely uh, relaxed state. Like if, if someone is under anesthesia, um, that will usually um, usually be at a theta a fr a theta frequency. The next one up is alpha. Alpha frequencies run between seven and a half and twelve hertz. Um, this represents the body at rest, but not asleep. So um, it's usually if you if you're kind of relaxed and have your eyes closed, that's alpha. Uh, when you because you could be relaxed and have your eyes open, and for some reason that reduces the alpha. 
most likely because um, when you open your eyes, you're starting to take in visual visual input. Um, you can't control that. I mean, you just, that just automatically happens. So when your eyes are closed, that allows you to make, um, remain in the alpha state without the because without without activating the part of your brain that starts starts sensory processing. Uh, it's used for developing uh, communication. It's not really present at a full level until uh, until a child is three. I mean, they start developing um, more low-end alpha frequencies around four to six months, but it's not completely developed until they're about three. And that makes sense when you think it's uh, related to developing communication. Um, you know, most children aren't aren't really uh, able to effectively communicate that well until they're about three years old and then they can carry on conversations and talk to people. Um, alpha waves are also predominantly used in biofeedback training. and uh, What that is is, is um, training your body to recognize when you're going into um, an alpha state in order to uh, help suppress pain and help with um, mental and emotional and physical healing. I don't know a whole lot about biofeedback training, but um, you know, since I am presenting it here, that's going to be something I'll definitely research and look into so I can provide you all with more information later on down the road. Uh, next up, we have the beta frequency. That's between 12 and a half and 30 hertz. This is your everyday, um, which, which you're in most commonly. It's the normal waking consciousness, uh, everyday activity, um, it's also related to um, muscle contraction, so the little nerve impulses that your that your um, muscles are giving off and things like that as you move, uh, they usually resonate at the beta frequency. Uh, next up is gamma. Gamma is uh, a really wide band that's between 25 and 1,000 hertz. Uh, gamma is associated with really intense focus and awareness. Um, it's, uh, it's also interestingly uh, connects associated with connecting different parts of the brain. So if, if we receive some sort of external stimuli that, um, that stimulates one part of our brain over here and another part of our brain over here, so like, um, for example, your, your visual cortex in your occipital back here and then your, um, your uh, nasal smell uh, cortex, which is, which is, I believe, in the hippocampus area, I think. Sorry if I'm wrong, um, but yes, yeah, so something that would that would uh, some some sort of stimulus that would stimulate both gamma waves are associated with connecting those together. So allowing the different parts of your brain to work together as a whole. Uh, the intense focus and awareness is usually found around 40 hertz. So um, uh, right, it, so it's, yeah, it's usually found around 40 hertz. Uh, interestingly, uh, they have noticed with Tibetan Buddhist monks that they are uh, spend a lot more of their time in gamma through because of their meditation. And uh, even though meditation is normally associated with the theta waves, uh, the way they are working with their brains and, and activating different areas, uh, it does um, it does stimulate uh, or it does start to create gamma waves, which makes sense because it is a uh, if gamma waves are associated with interconnectedness in different parts of our brain, uh, in Tibetan monks, it's sort of about reaching higher consciousness with it, which is a, a overall larger collective connection with other things. So uh, very interesting. Um, other resonances that uh, that are, are not associated with brain waves. Uh, one is a Schumann resonance. Um, this is the electromagnetic frequency of the Earth, basically. So um, the Earth will electromagnetically goes between about six and I think it's 30 hertz. But there are certain spikes in in that, that along the way that are uh, one one I know is at 7.3 hertz, something like that. That is associated with uh, the Schumann resonance. So if you listen to something like that, it could help you feel very grounded and connected to the Earth and and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, that's binaurals in a nutshell. Uh, I've used them for a variety of different things, um, mostly uh, focusing at work, relaxation, uh, go, getting into a meditative state, um, you know, pain suppression, uh, healing. Um, 
So a lot of people do, uh, like I said, they can be used for different organs and organ systems as well. Um, some people do get really creative with that, and since, and like I said, since everything has a frequency that it emits, uh, some people will will um, take a, a frequency of an herb, like echinacea or something like that, and they'll figure out, and they'll find out, okay, echinacea, like, hypothetically, let's say, it resonates at um, 15 hertz. So they'll create something that's 15 hertz to kind of go along with that. Um, so, so yeah, like I said, it's, it's very interesting. I find it to be very effective. It's very simple. Um, there are uh, tons of albums you could buy out there. You can go on Amazon and find a bunch of stuff. Um, you can go on, my, what I use mostly is YouTube because there is just anything that you could want to do with a, with a binaural, any aspect of healing, any aspect of meditation, focus, whatever you're trying to do, you can find a binaural for it on YouTube. So. Um, again, and when, you're, and when you're doing it, remember you have to have the headphones in or it's not going to work that well. Uh, the better quality headphone you have, the better it's going to be. Um, you know, if you have noise canceling ones and if you can wear those while you're, um, you know, if you're in a situation where you can wear those, I mean, you can't always do that at work, but those are going to be the best because that, it's going to block out all the other um, sounds and things so you just get the frequency coming through. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, like I said, it's uh, I really enjoy them, I find them to be very effective, and I recommend uh, checking into them. Alright, thanks for watching, and you enjoy the rest of your day.